Hi guys, Kylie here with Lone Rock Longhorns. Oh, it's bright, I'm sorry. Um, our last video you guys saw, I uh, mentioned that we had a really bad accident on Saturday mid to late evening. Um, I was down at the pond down there fishing and all of a sudden the entire herd just comes running by. I mean, like something I've never seen before. And just hauling butt, all of them, hauling butt through. When they come through, they run down the gate that's over there that you guys have seen me feed the horses by. And they run into this back pasture. Oh, I don't know where it's at, over there. Um, and then just keep running. I mean, they're just hauling butt. It's the weirdest thing. All of them, babies, mamas, steers, you name it. Everybody around here was just running. And so I was like, clearly something is wrong. Let me get some shade. Here we go. And so I um, stopped what we were doing. Um, I went down or went over to see, and I could see it from a far distance that there was a cow, Eva. Diva, her name, the one we just got from Ohio. Um, you guys suggested we name her Eva, which we really liked. So that's her name here is Eva. I see her thrashing around, she's bucking, she's throwing her head, she's, something wasn't right with her. So I hurry and I come over here and to look and I could see that there is something seriously wrong with her horn. Um, and so she's losing her mind, I'm sure in an extremely significant amount of pain. Um, as I get to her, she runs into the trees. All the other longhorns are hauling butt and they make their rounds around the horse pasture and then back out into the big pasture, running. <laughs> I mean, sprinting, like something was chasing them. But what was happening is they were afraid of her because I'm sure they knew she was in pain. She was thrashing around, scared because of her horn. And so they were running from her, afraid of her, and she was chasing them, wanting to be with the herd. And so we spent most of the evening yesterday until dark trying to just coax her out gently um walking with her trying to get her to an opening to where we can get her into one of these pins uh, wasn't happening she did have a little bit of blood coming out of her nose um, no blood around like the horn area which is good for now uh, meaning she's shouldn't bleed out she doesn't have any blood this morning um, she shouldn't bleed out um, we've been in contact with the vet, couldn't get her caught until just now. Um, I'll get a video of her here in a second, but, um, she's at least in probably not a very good outcome. Um, we should be able to save her. Uh, I think we're just going to have a unicorn, but that's okay. As long as we can save her, we want the best for her. Um, what we're going to try to do now is well, I have everything opened up to where we can get her into this smaller pen. We're going to try to let her go naturally with her buddies. The water's in there. Um, she's in here with, oh, here, she's kind of walking over here now. I'll get a, a video of her for you guys to see more. Um, not a good situation. It's not, it's something we've never had happen before. We have heard, I'm watching in the background. Uh, I have heard, you know, cows doing this and before, I assume you can see it right there. I'm about to have to get off here, guys. I'm going to have to go shut this gate right there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, didn't work out in my favor. There's a cow in there at the water trough that chased her out, so that didn't work. But, um, where was I at? Oh, we have had some friends that it's happened to in the past. Um, what's most likely happened is she either got hodged up in some, a couple trees, maybe her horn got stuck in the ground like JWs did, who knows. And so probably somebody was picking on her. She is the low end of the totem pole. She's the newest cow out here. Um, but it looks to be broken off inside of her skull. 
Um, if she would have just hit a tree, the, the horn itself would have broke. Like, kind of like how, uh, what is it, Sunny, I believe, or not Sunny. It's been a really long night. <laughs> I can't remember what her name is. Chad's heifer that uh, broke her horn. Kind of like that. And then, obviously, that's not what happened here. It broke from out on the inside. It's dangling. Um but she's at least eating some hay now and she i don't think she's drank or ate anything all night she looks pretty rough but we've got a call into the vet hopefully he can come out here first thing in the morning take a look at it what's most likely going to have to happen is um surgically taking that horn off and she's going to have one horn off the side if she doesn't most of them equib equib you <laughs> I don't remember what the word is. They get used to it um, where they're not going to be walking like this. If that does happen and she doesn't get used to it, we'll just take both horns off surgically. Um, we just want to save her. I don't, I don't care if she can spend her life here. That's fine. But um, we've talked to some people and they say that it'll be fine as it is. Just leave her alone. She'll get used to it and it'll kind of heal in place. Um, but we don't really like that idea. So we're at least gonna have a vet come out and look at it and kind of go from there. But we'll get a video of it, let you guys see it. It's not the prettiest. Um, I do think she's probably in some pain. She is significantly better this morning than she was last night. I didn't get any videos last night because I personally was not okay with seeing it. So you guys got mad at us last time because I didn't video something super graphic to what most people would have thought was graphic last night was 10 times worse so <sighs> we're just gonna leave that alone but um Aaron and my dad are catching some cows this morning we're gonna go work them I'll probably leave these girls alone for the morning and um see if we can get her caught and get her feeling better I think I got the most bulliest picking on cows that I could. And that's not your baby in here with this poor girl. They're the only ones that come running to the feed truck. Everybody else is off exploring. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry, Eva. There is a possibility we can cast it, but I'm not quite sure. She's not bleeding, which is great. Don't see any blood on the other side of her. I'm sorry, sweet girl. Yeah, there's a little bit of blood. We'll get it taken off, Bubba. Her sweetheart, sorry. But let's first for that and uh, sorry, sweetheart. You need to go drink and eat some food. You don't look very good. You're gonna get all the special treatment. It's gonna be our, our little Miss Unicorn. Can I see your other side? Can I walk over here and see? She's very drawn up, guys, so don't, don't come at us with that. She's just not, not feeling herself bleeding on the other side so we'll get her get that taken off and fight any infection she may have this is exactly where I wanted her to go though so this is perfect oh you're okay honey sure it's very sore when she hits something that's why she's not eating or drinking all right guys got her so we bet got everybody in this pen that we needed miss charlene's not happy but as you guys can tell she's retaining her afterbirth so we're gonna give her a shot the vet should be here this afternoon for um, 
Miss Eva most likely going to have to take off that horn. But at least she's eating. It hurts very bad, as you can imagine, when that horn touches. I'm sitting here waiting for this water to fill up all the way, hoping that she can get it in there without her horn hitting anything. If she needs to drink. She's very, very drawn up. But Pepper's from Little Sport. Winona and her baby are out there, but her baby's face is looking a lot better, so I don't, we'll probably let them out, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hi guys, Erin and Kylie. This is Sunday evening. Sunday night. Yeah. Sun's gone. Um, before you guys have seen already the issue, the accident that happened with Eva, or that we don't, we don't honestly know what happened. She clearly got stuck somewhere pretty bad. Um, but I did uh, take quite a bit of video with the vet out here this afternoon. So fair warning. Did you watch it? Make sure you didn't say any bad words. <laughs> Not yet. You probably um, it is kind of gross. Lots of blood. No, um, you said that was not what. Well, that's true. So she had, there was so much um, swelling down into her cha her cheek and her sinuses and everything was just full of blood. Um, so it had, a lot of it had already clotted. Um, so he only had a few gushers is what he called it. But um, anyway, so yeah, we just wanted to come on here. Or I wanted to come on here. I'm gonna make this video tonight. Oh, so I hopefully didn't. you guys are seeing it. No, you didn't. <laughs> hopefully you guys are seeing it um, tomorrow. Um, we've had a couple people make comments about how we're doing clickbait and everything and it's working Yeah, Apparently us telling the truth is working because they're watching our video and as you guys are about to see it wasn't clickbait um, It was for today. Yeah, so hopefully uh, When you guys get done seeing this and the next video we have Really good news hopefully or better really? news, I guess there won't be anything good about it, but better news, so. Getting the trailer hooked up to take her from there. To our working area over there, the bed's on his way. Okay, we got her in. Bet's here. Because I was, you can squeeze it a little. I was almost. Yeah. Are you videoing? For a little bit. Are you gonna? Are you like right now? Did they hear me say I was freaking out? Not as much as you were. One day the working area is going to be covered. <laughs> okay. Concrete floor where we work. Can't tan. Can't tan if it's covered. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Just let her let her go ahead and sit down. And that way. Perfect. Now just open it up. Yep. All the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. If that was any better, I'd say we were professionals. Aren't you? No. No, no, no. Tell me you don't knock out long horns in the shoot often? Oh, I do every now and again, but not often, often. Okay, see if you can get that on that side. We're going to go ahead and put that on, and we're going to kind of just have an anchor just in case she decides she doesn't like this. I promise she won't. You didn't see the amount of drugs he put in her, so she should be sleepy.
Right. She wants to be crazy. Yeah, her leg is skinned up pretty good. Mm -hmm. I wonder what she got into. Not one way either, but it was not fun. No. I don't know that I want to be the one to tell her. She's only got one horn. She was moving. And she's starting to wake up. So we'll come back and she gets up. Hi, Eva. Still sleepy? Can you wake up? Hi, honey. Can you wake up for us? That said, she's probably gonna have a head tilt for a little while. She'll eventually build up some neck muscle. If it gets too bad, we'll take the other horn off, but get the main issue fixed first. It was broke off into here, into the middle of her head. As you can see, she was scuffed up too, so she clearly got herself hung up somewhere. Had a bunch and bunch and bunch of blood and stuff down in here with the swelling. Got a bunch of it out, but he said it's going to swell up pretty bad for the next few days, so. We got the good drugs to give you, sweetie. Can you wake up? Yeah. Can you get up, please? Can you try? You're still so sleepy. Yeah, you're doing good, honey. We'll come check on you in a little, okay? Found everybody in the back corner. because they ran back here after the accident. And they have not been back up to the house. So we're making our way. I was getting worried because I hadn't seen anybody for the last 48 hours. Or, I should take that back, 24 hours. It happened about 24 hours ago on the dot. Got my trusty steeds leading the way. Good job, Eva. Whoa, well, fancy. About to watch my mirror. Come on now. Once we get them up here and give them some food, up where we normally do. You just got up. That little man here for moral support. Got you some hay in there, honey. Got lots of water. Go get you some food and drink, or some water. You're okay. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it. Okay. We'll come check on you in a little bit, honey. It's a really nice night outside. <laughs> I'm gonna check on Eva. She got up. She's been munching on some hay, eating some grain. I haven't seen her drink. I don't know if you heard that. I haven't seen her drink any water yet, but 
I've seen her pee. So she's not dehydrated yet, but she doesn't look very good. <laughs> Is that a bug going in my face? Let's see if she's drinking any of this water. No. Ate all of her food, though. Got some more food for her. Hi, sweetie. Can you come eat some food? Come here. That a girl. She wants a buddy. We might put some. Do one of your girls want to come in here for the evening? Who can we trick to come in here? Lacey isn't out there, is she? Don't mind us either. We're both uh, in our going to sleep clothes. See if we can get Lacey in here. Lacey's who she came with. She'd be happy with her. Is that her coming or is that Dolly? That's her, that's Lacey girl. Come here, Lacey. Will you come in here with your friend? Lacey, come here. Lacey. She'll come. It's gonna be donkeys are gonna be the problem. Oh, I will. You guys want to see me get after a donkey? There you go, Lacey. Good girl. Come on. Let's go see your friend. Reintroduction of friends. My phone died. Sorry, guys. Go that way. Go show her where the water is. There they go. Off to. I don't think that was a donkey. Uh oh, she found a hay. Already picking on her. Just gonna do one more check for the night. Don't worry. Don't get up. You're okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me, pardon. You're okay. You don't have to get up. I'm checking to make sure you're okay. Hi, Lacey girl. Hi, Eva. Yeah, you're okay, honey. You're doing good. Did you eat all your food? Drink some water? You're happy to have your friend? All right, you guys be good for the evening. We'll see you in the morning.